Hi guys, Brown here, and welcome back to another part of the F1 Classic Academy. If you don't know what this series is, this is the series where we take the drivers that no one cares about and throw them into a championship where whoever wins the championship can graduate into a better division as such or whatever. I haven't really decided on that bit yet. So that is pretty much a classic academy. We've already had one round of the classic academy and that was uploaded about a month ago in um, Mexico and I did like the kind of calendar thing in that and I'll link that down below if you missed it. We are doing this in the brawn because I don't know at the time we just fill in the brawn and there's going to be no pit stops because of the tyres and let's just see what we can do to be honest. Um, there was a big gap between this episode and the very first one but let's get into the Hungarian Grand Prix then it's lights out and away we go it's a red bull on pole position and he's got an absolutely horrendous start there and now we're trying to just look at people's insides there's a Ferrari in between there we've got kind of got sandwiched in there through the middle but we've got out of the sandwich we're ahead of our teammate and we're up to P2 and I know the leader of this race he has a really strange name I have no idea how to say it I'm not even going to attempt to say it so we're just going to be calling him the Ferrari driver for now um, so this this my high tech this. so the Ferrari leads everyone literally jostling through turn 4 you can see there on this opening lap up ahead the Ferrari leads I th from us in P2 the P3 is another Ferrari O2 Ferrari and then everyone can be flooding through this is a replay of the start then and the Red Bull of B-Tech Mark Webber with a yellow helmet and um, got a great start and then got swamped by everyone into turn one and that was not good <laughs> he just got he was like he had hope and this is the start from his teammates point of view from pole position and he just got swamped he lost what five positions there and he's even losing even more to the Ferrari McLaren's gonna look inside another Ferrari is trying to follow him through as well and he's just chilling and he's gone from pole to about P7 and we are all over the back of the leader in his Ferrari I'm just gonna call him um, like Fizzy Keller or something. I know the names are like that. Um, our teammate is Roth. I do know that for a fact. Um, as we are jostling for this position, we've actually flown away from everyone else. This is only the second lap, as you can see. Heading through turn four, a little bit wide on the exit, but we're there and thereabouts. But we've lost it. We've completely spun and we've lost uh, loads of positions there and we're down to about P14, 15 you can see the positions we lost we had a very good chance of winning this race and it's only 18 laps and that's gone way out the window you can see that white curb is absolutely lethal and it's caught us out there and we're all the way down and now we've got some catching up to do we're going to try and defend the position to the BMW Williams and that just didn't work at all did it and actually you can see here how long ago I recorded this video because I still had the racing line on of course I turned that off back in Silverstone in the career mode so you, know, you can see how long ago I recorded this video and I just forgot about it to be honest it's been there up I wanted to upload this video as we go down the inside of a of a Red Bull I think, no, of the 2006 Renault but I wanted to upload this video around Silverstone time and then I realised that I'd end up doing Hungary back to back essentially with here and then in, in the career as well so I put it off and then it got to a point where I just forgot about it and it got to the business end of the season and to go round the outside of the 08 McLaren there on lap 4 and so I thought this was a perfect time 
we'll have a break from career and then in about a week's time when we're in the new year we'll kick off the we'll kick off career we'll kick off season three of the career as we're hunting down the McLaren there and we're gonna go for the lunge down the inside we have the job done and now we can focus on the Ferrari in front and the, then eventually the Red Bull in front of him on lap 5 the laps are ticking down but it's only a 25% race so we have to get through these cars as quickly as we can and we're going to go down the inside into it's a very ambitious move on the Ferrari there and now heading into the final corner and now we can get the hammer down you can see this kind of pack goes all the way up to, to second place in this race so we need to get through these as quickly as we can as we go for the lunge down the inside of the Red Bull the 2010 Red Bull and now we can hunt after that 2010 Ferrari the second one and down the inside no sorry round the outside we tried to go the Red Bull is caught as napping and we have just about stayed ahead there now can we do turn defense into attack as we attack the Ferrari now heading down the straight can we do it we're gonna go to the outside doing the dummy the switchback whatever you want to call it and now we're gonna do the switchback again trying to get down the inside of the Ferrari that's not gonna work unfortunately and now we can try again down the inside and that time the job is done heading on now to lap 9 from lap 8 and we have our sights set on a McLaren and we're going to get the Red Bull as well the McLaren had no clue what was going on there I was past him before he even knew what day of the week it was and now we're left defending but we've somehow stayed ahead and now we've got to get the McLaren again the next McLaren rather this is the one thing I didn't want to happen God see just get confused with each McLaren and like each car but we just have to get the McLaren so at this point we are in P5 get the McLaren then we've got to get our teammate on Roth and then we have to get the um, the other O2 Ferrari and then we can get after the leader but with just nine laps to go ten now basically as they go very wide there we have our work cut out if we want to win this race we somehow have to defend the other um, the McLaren there and he actually re overtakes us we have to do the switch back that doesn't work but we're still alongside him and now we're going to have to go the long way round all the way round the outside of the McLaren and we get the job done down the inside into turn 5 turn 3 even I don't know why it's a turn 5 3 turn 4 we're going a little bit wide there and now we can get our sights back on the McLaren ahead through the chicane this OT Ferrari has got absolute train behind him the hungry train we might as well call it as now we can go for a lunge down the inside of the McLaren he defends us off, he actually locked up, you would have seen there. And now we're going to try and go down the inside, that's a lovely move, he got the job done and now we can defend and attack our teammates. As there's only 8 laps to go in this Grand Prix, we have to get these next two cars quickly. 7 laps to go, we're going to go for the lunge down the inside of Roth. But he defends to the outside, of course. We have to get him in the corners with a dive bomb because equal machinery. These cars are base cars. No R&D, no nothing. So it's literally driver skill. This um, series. So this is why if you saw Mexico, we just got stuck behind him. And now we're going to go down the inside and we make contact with our fellow brawn of Roth and we've lost out to both McLarens again and now we're going to have to defend him off somehow though. 
I've managed to re overtake them both into the chicane. Don't ask me how, I do not know. But we've done it. This is the onboard. I don't know why I got more angles. This was the two angles I got of this incident. I don't know what was going through my head. As you can see there, and the McLaren just goes, Thank you very much, and it's straight through. And now he just gets sandwiched in somehow, he squeezes us in and we just squeeze them both out. That didn't make a move, even though I surprised myself with that one. But then I was editing this back because it's actually such a long time. I forgot what happened, I know I'm not in it. But I forgot what happened, and now we've got to go around the outside of our teammate. He defends us again, we're all over the back of him though, heading through the back of the pit lane. And then we are all over the back of him though, heading through the second chicane on note. No good with the second chicane, second chicane, second sector. And now, this is lap 12, we're gonna go for the lunge down the inside, he nearly puts it into the barrier there now. And now, he's going to try and re overtake us now down the straight. There's five laps to go in this race, or thereabouts, and he's rough defense to the inside. We're gonna go the long way round, all the way around the outside. And are we out on top? Yes, we are. No, we're not. Roth is still ahead of us. And now we're going to have to be a bit cheeky down the inside. We think about it. We're still side by side heading up then. Have we done it this time? Yes, we have. Good move there. And now we just need to get the Ferrari. And then we can just push and push and push for the lead of this race. Heading through the chicane, we couldn't do anything there. I really wanted to though, because. And now we're gonna go all the way around the outside. That's a beautiful move. And now, 13 laps up to go. Done. On to lap 15. We pulled away. You can see that, how much pace we had. I just turned the engine up to rich and just pushed and pushed and pushed. But eventually. It wasn't enough because as we come round the final corner on the final lap, it's going to be a very, very comfortable P2. Then to the podium are top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. So those that finished on the podium there, of course, it was Kloffman, that was his name in the OT Ferrari. We finished second, and then Roth, our teammate, finished in third. Claire. Claire was P4, and P5 was the German, Arthur Sebastian Muller. I think, I, I hope I got that right. Um, so it was a pretty good race, you take... It's just what could have been the pace we had. I was catching solidly a second a lap on Cloughman, but he had like a 17 second advantage or something. So it was physically impossible to catch him, and he extended the advantage at the top of the table. It's a third and a second for us so far this season. Um, at the meanwhile, if you want to see part 3, I'll try and get it. Um, I'm not going to lie, I am trying to find the footage for it. I know I definitely did it. Um, that would be Brazil, um, if you're interested in that. And I will try and get that out. I didn't know whether to also do some grid gameplay. Um, if you wanted to see that, then let me know down in the comments below. Um, I hope you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new around here and if you enjoyed the video as well. But until the next Classic Academy video or until whatever video you want to watch next from me, goodbye.